Several studies have showed that water on the moon's surface is in its permanently shadowed craters. Today, we are announcing that for the first time, water has been confirmed to be present on a sunlit surface of the moon. This is exciting because the expectation is that any water present on a sunlit surface of the moon would not survive the lunar day. This discovery reveals that water might be distributed across the lunar surface and not limited to the cold shadowed places near the lunar poles where we have previously discovered water ice. The discovery was made with SOFIA, NASA's Airborne Observatory, which flies a 100 inch or 2.5 meter telescope high in the Earth's atmosphere to study the universe in the far infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This discovery raises new questions about how water is created and how it can persist in the harsh airless conditions of the sunlit lunar surface. And this discovery, of course, is of more than just scientific interest to NASA. With the Artemis program, NASA will land the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024 and establish a sustainable human presence by the end of the decade. At the moon, we will prepare for human exploration of Mars. Water is a precious resource in space. But we wanna know everything we can about water on the moon. One of the things we don't know yet is whether the water detected by Sophia on a sunlit surface is accessible for use as a resource. 